Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health, and Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. I hope you have a beautiful and pleasant holiday season. On today's Your Health, we'd like to talk about the complementary measures you can take safely and effectively to improve your cancer outcomes. Maybe you've been recently diagnosed with cancer. Maybe a loved one has been diagnosed with cancer. And you know intuitively there is more we can do to help win this battle with cancer than simply taking radiation, chemotherapy, surgery, and all the things that our doctors do for us. There are things you can do at home to help you improve your outcome, and that's what we want to talk about today. Very important program, so please stay tuned for that. First, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Feedlot antibiotic use is expected to increase by 50% over the next 12 years. Antibiotic use by animals is associated with antibiotic resistance to disease-causing germs. Researchers from the Center for Disease Dynamics, Economics, and Policy analyzed the worldwide farm animal antibiotic use. They have also proposed strategies to help reduce the use of feedlot antibiotics and hence the usefulness of our antibiotics. Nearly 80% of all antibiotics produced are given to animals to promote their growth. Worldwide, over 130,000 tons of antibiotics are given to animals every year. A study was published by Science. Well, folks, we've been following the feedlot use of antibiotics issue for many years now, and the use of animal antibiotics has grown to, in spite of multiple warnings from the worldwide scientific community. And thus, we have more antibiotic resistance than ever. Now, this study predicts continued feedlot antibiotic use will grow by an astounding 50% over the next decade. It is disparaging to realize healthy animals are given three times the amount of antibiotics as sick humans, some 130,000 tons in total. They are given antibiotics so that they can grow rapidly on inferior food. Very little of the animal antibiotic use is by sick animals. It is almost all taken by healthy animals to promote their rapid growth. And we are paying a huge price for the practice as some of the most deadly germs that infect humans are now resistant to many of our very best antibiotics. And to make matters worse, the world's pharmaceutical companies do not want to invest hundreds of millions of dollars into developing new antibiotics that would only become ineffective due to this resistance. Now, fortunately, the United States does not lead the world in feedlot antibiotic use, but we all know the world usually follows our example, so our actions on this issue are critical. This study conducted by scientists at Cambridge and Princeton recommends we set a cap on feedlot antibiotic use and set goals to reduce their use by over 60% in the coming years. They also recommend a tax or use fee on feedlot antibiotic use along with limiting our meat consumption to the equivalent of one hamburger patty a day total. Now, I don't think that goal is going to happen anytime in the near future, but regardless, we must make progress on this issue. Dietary monounsaturated fatty acids play a role in intelligence. Researchers from the University of Illinois evaluated 99 healthy adults for their dietary practices. They also evaluated their blood's level of monounsaturated fatty acids while correlating these findings with the results of functional MRI studies of their brains. They found the subjects who had the highest levels of blood monounsaturated fatty acids Fatty fats, that's dietary fats now, had more extensive brain networking and higher general intelligence. The study was published by NeuroImage. Well, folks, I do sincerely apologize for the complex technical jargon, but this study holds valuable information. So let's get through it. The brain's dorsal attention network is a plexus of neurons or brain cells that connect different parts of the brain with one another. Its job is to integrate sensory input and to make sense of things we observe. If a person has a large dorsal attention network with a lot of connections, they are generally more intelligent and able to pay more and prolonged attention than a person with fewer connections. And what this study found was 
People who ingest the most monounsaturated fatty acids in their diet have the most extensive dorsal attention network with the highest intelligence and the greatest ability to stay with the task until completed. Now, these monounsaturated dietary fats that promote intention, attention and intelligence, they can be found in the Mediterranean diet in foods such as olive oil, avocado, nuts and seeds, including grapeseed oil, among others. What they do on a cellular level is provide cell membrane material that is resistant to oxidation and chemical degradation. So, in essence, the monounsaturated fats such as olive oil help to support a strong, capable, and disease-resistant brain, one that can process a lot of information and make good, intelligent decisions. That's the bottom line of this complicated scientific subject. Healthy oils such as olive and avocado oil help to make us smarter. Now, this information has application to dementia prevention for seniors, but also for kids and students of all ages. We are what we eat, and including olive oil, nuts and seeds, along with a variety of foods with monounsaturated fats, including meats, those are the healthy meats, is a good thing. Folks, the evidence is adding up. Fats and oils, well, they're good. Too much sugar and refined starch, not so good. Make slow but deliberate changes for the better. Well, today on Your Health, we'd like to discuss complementary care for the cancer patient. Is there more to overcoming cancer than just surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy? Well, join us to learn more. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year. And Tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. Richard Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Do you suffer from cramps, gas, bloating, or other digestive troubles? How about fatigue, depression, and headaches? All these symptoms could be caused by a condition called lactose intolerance. Your body doesn't digest lactose, the sugar found in milk and other dairy products. As a result, you can suffer from a wide variety of symptoms. If you often experience digestive problems, fatigue, depression, or headaches following meals, try avoiding dairy for a week or two and see if your symptoms lessen or go away. All of the nutrients found in dairy, including calcium, are present in sufficient amounts in other foods. So if you find that you are lactose intolerant, you can safely avoid dairy and still enjoy complete nutrition. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128.
Welcome back, everyone. It's such a blessing to be with you this blessed holiday season. I hope yours is just wonderful, filled with joy, family, love, and Christ. I've got to tell you, this is the best time of year, isn't it? Yep. Well, to start off our month, we're going to be talking today about complementary cancer care. Well, what exactly is that? We're going to talk about the nutritional measures that you can take to incorporate in your plan for the treatment of cancer. And Richard, so many advances have taken place, both yes. in the medical front and in the nutritional front. So this is really a great time to be merging these together to talk it about is. Complementary cancer care. And I, I do want to start this program with the notion that our researchers in oncology, as specialists, they're making tremendous strides. I know it's not fast enough. If you've been recently diagnosed with cancer, we want the, uh, the best treatments as soon as possible. But they are, and they, they are making progress. And the new area, of course, of what they call the targeted therapies, that basically what they're doing is they're taking advantage of our immune system and improving the immune response so that you can fight the cancer are better and so it's making a difference in cancer statistics now we still have certain cancers that are harder to treat than others and far too many still perish from cancer but we are making progress so there is a lot of hope in this message you know as whenever we talk about cancer I always ask that you the patient who's never had cancer and don't have a cancer to think for a minute what would you do if the doctor told you today that you have cancer. And play along with my little game for a minute, and as your body goes through that initial shock of thinking about that, if that were to happen to you, now you can imagine what the cancer patient feels when the doctor says, well, we figured out why you've been feeling bad. You have carcinoma. Can you imagine the change? We've been through this. Mm -hmm. We can speak honestly about cancer because I've been diagnosed with cancer in the past. I had Hodgkin's lymphoma. God smiled upon us and he cured us with cancer treatment from uh, the experts. Uh, but since that time, helping others get through cancer has been one of my life's missions. You know, if you've been told you have cancer, you have a change of perspective, don't you? You found that you've had to summon emotional strength you found that you need support of your family, your loved ones, the close ones in your life. And at the same time, you don't want to share too much with them because you don't want to burden them with your challenges. You know, there's a point where <laughs> you have to carry it. Also, I think most cancer, everyone who is diagnosed with cancer, you're hoping for a second chance at life. Maybe there's a few things that you haven't achieved that you want to achieve. You want a second shot at that. Perhaps your perspective has changed. There are a lot of changes that come to the cancer patient. Maybe you appreciate the little things more than you used to. The laugh of a child, the beauty of a sunset, the smell of a rose, these things that we walk right past typically on a busy day and don't even think twice about. But after you've been through cancer, maybe you think about that a little more. Maybe you don't sweat the small stuff quite as much. Those little annoying things that get in our way but really have no bearing on the big picture. We start thinking of these things when you've been told you have cancer. Maybe you've lost your fear of failure. You realize that you are really only limited by your willingness to work and study and dedicate yourself. And if you had your health back, you could achieve those things. You know, the mind is full of thoughts when you've been told you've had cancer. There are other challenges that present to the cancer patient. You're in a toxic state, not only from the cancer itself, because it can make you feel very bad, but also the treatments have toxicity and side effects. So even if you've been told you're now in remission, you still may feel bad. This is a major challenge of the uh, cancer patient is the sense of, yeah, you, they tell me I'm in remission. I'm cured of cancer as it were, and we'll talk more about that. But I don't feel like I'm cured. I don't feel like I'm in remission. I feel bad. 
These are things that we can help with nutritional measures. These are part of the challenges. This is part of the challenges that we face in cancer treatment. There are lingering effects of cancer in its treatment. There may be fatigue, pain, and there may be scars from operations, radiation, all the things we have to do to, to treat this disease, there can be scars. But I would consider those scars badges of honor. Don't be ashamed of them, be proud of them. You've endured a tough road and you're gonna come out ahead. This is, leads me to the attitude. I suggest to you, from the moment you're told that you have cancer, take on I am a survivor attitude. Now, time is short. Life is short, even if we reach 100 years of age. Nobody knows the time of their end. So even if we don't survive this cancer, from day one, from when we were told, the attitude of I am a survivor is huge. Because if we do not have this attitude, we have an attitude of fear and apprehension. And trust me, folks, fear is the worst emotion a human can endure. It leaves us susceptible to cheats, thieves, and charlatans. We become desperate when we live in fear. And we may reach for things that have no merit. So we don't want to ever approach cancer from a state of fear. And that's a hard thing to do. But with faith, prayer, and the support of your family and loved ones in the community, we don't have to live in fear because we have tools now that can help most cancer patients to, to have a much better outcome. So let's not live in fear. We are survivors from day one. Now we have opposing forces in the cancer field today. We get mixed messages. One side of the message is there's nothing you can do on your own to help with your cancer battle. The only things that work are chemotherapy, surgery, and radiation. Only your doctors can treat cancer and its effect, and there's nothing you can do. That leaves me in fear if I take in that attitude. I want to be more in charge of what I can do, don't you? Now, we need our doctors. I'm not trying to eliminate from the equation. I want them involved but I want to be involved too. I want to do what I can do. I think we all intuitively know that our diet matters, our supplements matter, our exercise, our relationships, all of these things matter, just as they matter in heart disease, it, hap it matters in cancer as well. But we are told, either directly or subliminally, there's nothing you can do. So just leave it to the doctor. Just as healthy living prevents disease, lifestyle adjustments, dietary and supplemental measures can help you win the battle with cancer or reduce the risk of cancer returning years later. Even if you're in remission, we can help reduce that. Let's talk some cancer facts. Let's know more about this disease. You know, I have people who ask me, this is one of the most common questions I've ever asked is, Dr. Becker, do you think there is a cancer cure that's been suppressed? That they really do know how to cure cancer, but they don't want you to, to know so they can take advantage of you and make more money off you? I don't think that's how it is. That's not really how it works. And the reason I feel that is cancer is a very complicated disease. There are actually some 200 different types of cancer. Although they have similarities, they are distinctly different and they don't all respond to the same thing. The notion that one agent would cure all of those, that's kind of a foolish thought. That reflects a non-scientific mind who has not studied cancer. Also, look at it from the economic viewpoint. If some drug company had the ultimate cure for cancer, do you not think that they would unleash it on the world and become fabulously rich? Of course they would. Of course they would. It's a very complicated process. It's far too complex for one agent to cure, so it's not like that. But we are making progress, slowly but surely. There are one and a half million cases of cancer in the United States alone this year. The National Cancer Institute says 14 million Americans now are alive 
living in remission with a history of cancer, and that is going to increase to 18 million by the year 2022. So we are doing better with cancer. There is hope, and we have more in just a minute. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year. And Tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. I'm Dr. Becker with Your Health at a Glance. Have you or someone you love recently been diagnosed with cancer? It is projected by the year 2020, some 18 million Americans will be cancer survivors. The main reason for this upward trend is our treatments for cancer are better than ever. Our cancer medicines are much improved and we know more about how cancer works. In addition, holistic principles of cancer care are becoming standard of care treatment. Plus, research centers are discovering natural substances with true benefits for the cancer patient. This is an age of wonder, as we can incorporate both mainstream medicine and the fields of complementary and anti-aging medicine into your plan to beat cancer. I'm a cancer survivor who's here to tell you that you have more tools than ever in your battle with cancer. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Different people have different vitamin and mineral needs. That's why Dr. Becker's BioNutrients multiple vitamin and mineral powders come in four different blends. That's right, when it comes to vitamins, no one formula is right for everyone. For those who don't get enough vegetables in their diet, there's the organic green blend with three servings of vegetables in every tablespoon. And for those looking for a boost of fruit and berry phytonutrients, there's the berry blend with three servings of fruit in every tablespoon. And don't forget the active adult blend with extra B vitamins, calcium, and added cofactors like ginkgo and CoQ10. Plus, we've designed a multiple for those with allergies called the Low Allergy Rice Blend. Whatever your unique needs are, BioNutrients has a multiple vitamin that's just right for you. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. We're back, everyone, having a great discussion on complementary cancer measures. This one is so important. So, Richard, yes. we were going through some cancer facts before the break, yes. and there's a few more you had to share. Yes, a million and a half new cases every year. There are 18 million Americans alive with uh, cancer remission, and that number is increasing. More evidence that we're getting better at this. The risk of developing cancer of any type is 45% of men will develop that. That's almost every other man will develop cancer in their lifetime. And for women, it's 38%. So one in three women, every other man will develop cancer in their life. Three out of four cancers occur in those 55 years of age and older. And I mention this because people engage in lifestyle practices that are not healthy, and they may even be aware that it's not healthy. And at 40. 50 years of age, they say, well, you know, I've been smoking for 25 years and I don't have cancer. It's not affecting me. Well, it's not going to yet. See what I'm saying? I eat a lot of sugar and uh, I'm not going to get intestinal cancers because I'm pre-diabetic. Well, not yet. See, it takes time for these deleterious lifestyle practices 
to add up to cancer. So don't assume just because you've gotten away with it for 30, 40, 50 years, you're going to continue to get away. Think about these things. You want to prevent cancer. Don't wait till it strikes. Let's prevent more of this disease. The five-year survival rate for all cancers is 66%. Just put them all in one big group. Day one, you're told you have cancer. Are you alive five years later? Two out of three people are. This is better than just 1984. It was 50% were alive. So that's about a 32% improvement since 1984. That's pretty good. We're making progress. Now, there are two ways for cancer to return for somebody. If you have cancer, the first one, let's say cancer reoccurrence, you go through treatment and you go into remission. And by the way, let's clear that up. Remission does not mean cure. Remission means the cancer's shrunk in size, it's not growing anymore, it's the same size but not growing, or it's gone away completely. It can be any of those. You can still have cancer in you, but still be in remission. But Remission reflects you're winning the battle. You're beginning to kill that tumor. It's beginning to shrink, or at least it's not growing. That's remission, okay? So there's two ways for cancer to reoccur to a cancer patient. The return of the same cancer, it can come back. Let's give you an example. This is highest in the first five years after your first diagnosis. The reoccurrence is most likely for it to begin to grow again and come back and threaten you. It's highest in the first five years, for example, breast cancer. The first five years, five to 10% chance of it coming back each year up to five years, then it begins to decline quickly. This is one of the reasons why we use the five year mark so much in predicting cancer outcomes. Where will you be at five years? If you're in remission at five years post initial diagnosis, things are looking good for you. Things are looking good for you. Now, the second way for cancer to return is you develop a whole new cancer years down the road. And this is more common than you think. The first cancer is gone, but another type begins. Cancer survivors are two to three times more likely to develop a cancer in a different organ system unrelated to the first. Two to three times. If you took cisplatin as part of your chemotherapy, it's twice the risk. If you took radiation, you have 250% increased risk of leukemia. If you have breast cancer, any other cancer is three times the risk. Me personally, I had Hodgkin's, I have twice the risk of developing another cancer somewhere else. Now, why would this be happening? Do you have a faulty system that can't fight cancer in the first place so you have other organs going awry? That's possible. It could be a genetic problem. That's one reason. The other is you've not changed your habits. You've not changed your diet. You've not dropped the bad habits that you need to have or the, the diet's bad. You know, we haven't changed the initiating factors that led to cancer if we can change them. Also, the effect of our treatments are highly toxic, particularly the radiation and the chemotherapy. The new advances in the targeted therapies are less toxic. Another advantage of our new progress, a very good thing that's happening. So keep this in mind. You know, when we have cancer, we need to address our profession, our lifestyle, our callings, the things we do on a daily basis. Why is that? Because 90% of all cancers, 90% are caused by environmental factors. Now, the, these factors trigger a genetic susceptibility, but if the environmental factor weren't there, it would never happen in the first place. 90% are because of what's around us and what we put into our bodies. 90%. These factors must be changed if we want to achieve remission and cancer treatment success. We have to change this. Diet, 35% of all cancers are due to a poor diet. Sedentary lifestyle, obesity, heavy metals are playing. They contaminate the DNA, these heavy metals. Insecticides, herbicides, petroleum distillates, persistent organic pollutants, radiation, whether it's man-made or naturally from the earth, radon. 
It comes from the ground. And some areas of the uh, country have much higher rates of radon than others. It plays a role, particularly in lung cancer. These are things we have to think about. Dyes, plasticizers, food additives, flame retardants, you know, the whole long list of chemicals that are in our environment. The typical child is born with some 200 different chemicals in their bloodstream. <laughs> Can you believe that? There's no wonder we have more cancer than ever. You know, there's really no wonder. The point I'm trying to make is we need to make an effort in our cancer treatment to reverse these patterns as best as possible. We can eat organic foods. We can purify our water. If need be, we can move out of the city into less polluted areas. It makes a difference. It may be enough to make the difference in your cancer outcome. Make a, every effort to stop the bad habits. How can we possibly expect to beat lung cancer if we continue to smoke? Do you really think that's going to happen? No, it, it isn't. We have to stop the bad habits. We need to improve the diet. We need to get up and move. But what are we being told? Well, there's really nothing you can do. That's not true. I refuse to accept it, and I'm going to outline your plan next. We'll be right back. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year. And Tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. Dr. Richard Becker for your health at a glance. High cholesterol raises your risk for cardiovascular disease, but it's just one risk factor among many. And the need to lower your cholesterol can be over-exaggerated. Everywhere in the media, we see advertisements for cholesterol-lowering prescription drugs. It's a big business. Now, cardiovascular disease kills more Americans than any other disease, so we need to pay attention to all the risk factors for heart disease. Here's a prevention strategy. Besides lowering your cholesterol, treat high blood pressure. Stop all tobacco, manage diabetes, exercise regularly to stay fit, avoid sugar, eat fish and fresh fruits and vegetables. Take your daily vitamin and use omega-3 oils. Address all your risk factors, not just your cholesterol. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, Mayataki, Rishi, Shiitake, and Cordyceps sinensis. And Bioinnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing mushroom Cordyceps sinensis in a standalone formula. Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings.
We're back, everyone, having a great discussion on complimentary cancer therapies. Well, I've got to let you know we are having a fantastic holiday savings time at BioInnovations. Great time to get the supplements that you need to incorporate into your plan. Really great prices and free shipping on orders over $50. Of course, that's in the mainland USA. Anyway, good time to get in on these specials. Richard, we're going to put together now an entire plan for yeah. the cancer patient. Right. You know, we talked about changing the factors in our environment that we can change, do every effort to do that. Also, if your profession, if your job is stressing you out, affecting your sleep, driving your blood pressure up. See, this all inhibits the immune response, this chronic stress. If you need to change your profession, do it. Life is short. It, uh, this, these are hard decisions to make, and, I, and no one can make them for you. You have to trust. Get on your knees and pray. You know, God will lead us. When we really need the help, he's there. So maybe we have to change a profession, stop the bad habits, implement the healthy lifestyle practices, including a healthy diet, daily exercise to the best of your ability. You don't, you know, when you're diagnosed with cancer, you probably don't feel like starting a marathon program. You know, that's not how this works. But you can get up and walk across the room. And tomorrow you do it twice. And the next day, three, four, and you slowly gain your strength. The whole idea is to keep your blood moving circulation is key and keep your muscle tone up the stronger you are in cancer treatment the more likely you will be alive in remission at five years strength plays a major role in surviving cancer a little exercise helps that to the best of your ability guiding principles here detoxify repair rebuild detox is all the rage today and I can't think of a more appropriate setting than in cancer treatment to detox detox. Correct any nutrient deficiency. Our immune, cancer is an immune-based disease. Any nutrient deficiency of any of the essentials, and there's some 43, 40-ish of them, any of those, if they are even suboptimal, your response to cancer, your ability to fight it, will be compromised. Our bodies are much better able to get rid of a little extra than have not enough. Keep that in mind. Now, I'm, mega doses of vitamins will not cure your cancer. This has been tried hundreds of times. It's not enough. But when we take vitamins with the proven treatments, our, our odds improve dramatically. One study found when you complement your cancer care, with these natural agents that we're talking about today, your longevity is expected to rise over a thousand percent. It's that effective. A thousand percent longer? That's worth doing. So, correct any nutrient deficiency. Maximize your immune response. We want the best immune system possible. And protect from the toxicity of our treatments. Chemotherapy is harsh. Radiation is harsh. Surgery can take a lot out of you. We need to protect from those damages so that our immune system is not suppressed, overly suppressed with these therapies. Guiding principles again. Now, how do we do this? Provide our bodies with the best possible nutrition that we can find. This is basically the Mediterranean style of eating. What's good for pre prevention is also good for the treatment. Now, I say Mediterranean style in that it is low in sugars and starches. I want to advise you of the Warburg effect. The Warburg effect. This goes way back to the 1930s, I think it was. Otto Warburg, very famous physician who hypothesized that cancer needs glucose or sugars to live. It is an obligate sugar metabolic phenomena. And just l this month, an institute in Belgium who had spent years trying to fully understand this Warburg effect, they nailed it. They have now proven that cancers need glucose to live. And they turned this glucose into lactate and they were able to further explain the exact mechanism of how it works. Now, what does this mean to you? This means that if we're eating a lot of sugars, in our cancer therapy, you're actually feeding your cancer. 
Now, the question remains, if you strictly avoid glucose, will it cure all cancers? No. Why? Because we convert fats and proteins into glucose, so the cancer will always have some fuel. But why would we want to feed it candy bars, cookies, cakes, soft drinks, etc., etc.? No, we don't want to do that. Minimize that glucose, high fructose corn syrup, anything sweet. We really do need to minimize that. And we also should help minimize starchy foods. You can have a little, but don't raise that blood sugar. Treat yourself as though you are a diabetic in the sense of it's like a diabetic uh, diet. We wouldn't want to have a lot of starches and sugars. I hope that makes sense because it's really important to understand that. Now, when the doctor tells you you're in remission, can you go have a little piece of celebratory cake? You bet you can, but be modest, you know, be modest, but you can still live a full life. That we don't have to be obsessive. Honey, uh, give me some feedback. Did I make that clear? We're, that's our guiding principle. We're trying to reduce our sugars. It makes a difference, and the scientists understand it better now than they ever have. Protein supplements. Cancer is a wasting disease. We lose our strength. Maintaining our protein intake is very important. Now, you can add protein supplements to your juicing and your pureeing. And sometimes we don't want to eat at all, but of a little juice we can get down. So uh, a little protein supplement, a little fruit, low sugar fruits, a little vegetable in the puree or the juice, that goes along. And then we sip, sip a little till we get through the tough times. When we return from the break, let's talk about detoxifying agents. We'll be right back. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year and tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. holiday season, think of the words of the English writer G.K. Chesterton who said, when it comes to life, the critical thing is whether you take things for granted or take them with gratitude. No matter the size of our problem, Jesus cares. The Apostle Paul gave the Philippian church this advice in Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. 
Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. We're back, everyone. Just a quick reminder, it is holiday savings time at BioInnovations. The best prices of the season. Free shipping on orders over $50 in the mainland USA. So a great time to put your nutritional plan together. So, Richard, we're going yes. through now going the nutritional through. measures for the cancer patients. So I know there's a lot to get through. Oh, there is. You know, we're talking about protein. It's hard to chew steak. Sometimes you don't have an appetite. Add a little protein to your juicing and puring. A good quality multiple vitamin and mineral. Uh, cancer, the vitamins and nutrients associated with depletion of these new B vitamins, vitamin C, magnesium, vitamin D, those are the big ones. There are others. But be sure you have a good quality multiple vitamin and mineral. And sometimes it's little doses. Sometimes a full dose, oh, I'm queasy to begin with. I don't want to take it. Well, take a little dose, just a little dose into your juicing and puring with your protein. Next is probiotics and fiber. Um, as tolerated, of course, as you can eat more food, be mindful of the intestinal terrain the flora of the gut because this is what do we 70 percent of the immune system is in the intestinal tract if you're dysbiotic if the bowel flora is off your immune response will be off and this is the essence of fighting cancer is a strong immune response so probiotics and fiber fiber that you can tolerate regularity is very important and many times the cancer patient is on powerful analgesics that constipate so we have to keep keep it going keep it going to the best of your ability now detoxifying agents fiber from our diet and from supplements is a detoxifier alpha lipoic i'm just going to name some of these and choose one of them or two of them and work with them and maybe you go through the list alpha lipoic acid a great chelator detoxifier cracked chlorella always start low doses you're more toxic than you realize. Start low or you'll have a healing crisis and maybe abandon a perfectly good therapy for you because it can make you feel bad before you get better. Start low doses, work up with detoxifying agents. Crack chlorella, garlic, cilantro, uh, milk thistle is tremendous for the cancer patient. Protects the liver, protects organs from the side effects of chemotherapy. It uh, suppresses metastasis, alters the tumor DNA. There's a lot of research on milk thistle and how it applies to cancer treatment. It's something you want to consider. Next is noni juice. Noni is tremendous. This is how we learned about noni juice and efforts to help cancer patients. Noni helps you respond better to chemotherapy. It also helps to inhibit tumor growth from a variety of animal and human studies, uh, in vitro and in vivo both. It also responds better to chemotherapy and radiation. It helps to protect the bone marrow from radiation. All this has been done at uh, quality uh, universities across the world. It uh, is a plant with unique anti-cancer properties. This has been thoroughly studied and it improves the quality of life. University of Hawaii did a big study on terminal cancer patients. Nothing more science can do. Well, let's see if noni helps them. And they gave them noni. It was a, a large study. It was like 350 terminal cancer patients, and they found it improved their pain and it improved their quality of life. That's worth doing. There's a lot of pain, potentially a lot of pain in cancer therapy, and the quality of life suffers. Noni can help you with that. That's a big mark, noni juice. Next is inositol and IP6. It improves the immune response. Uh, natural killer cell activity by 58%. This eventually cascades through the entire immune response, the innate and the adaptive both. This is something you want to do in cancer treatment. Inositol. IP6. This is naturally made by us, but under the stress of cancer and its therapies, we don't make it so well. 
and we don't absorb it so well. So when we ingest it as a supplement, then it absorbs very thoroughly and has a profound effect. Astragalus helps to protect the heart and the lungs from the damages of chemotherapy. Don't allow your heart and lungs to be damaged from adriamycin or doxorubicin, some of these agents. They can be very difficult on these organs. You don't want to be left with cardiomyopathy, but cancer free. That's not a good trait. Believe me, it's not. Protect the heart and lungs with uh, astragalus, pardon me. Improve the immune response with medicinal mushrooms or extracted beta-glucans. And basically what these substances do, they occupy a receptor on the macrophage of the immune system. Macrophage is the big eater. It's the Pac-Man cells that eats up cellular debris and infectious agents. When you activate the macrophage, the entire immune system responds. The innate and the adaptive. The innate is the cancer, the adaptive is more bacteria and, you know, invading agents. And how many times have you heard of the case, well, they were doing good progress on the cancer, but the infection came and it was too much. The, the immune system was so wiped out they couldn't fight the infection. So the medicinal mushrooms like maitake, shiitake, reishi, agaricus blasii, or extracted beta-glucans, these are tremendous for the cancer patient. We don't have time to go through all the studies, but people are more likely to survive when their immune system is activated. And this is one of the safest ways we have to do that. In fact, in various countries around the world, they've extracted the beta-glucans uh, from like uh, shiitake and they've made a drug out of it. Well, we don't have that drug here, but you can get shiitake. Any health food store has it, Cindy has it for you. It's just tremendous, these medicinal mushrooms. Another medicinal mushroom is the Cordyceps sinensis. And what I particularly like about that is how it stokes the energy production in your liver to fuel your healing processes. When we take Cordyceps sinensis, we improve our fatigue of cancer therapy along with boosting the immune function. Isn't that amazing? And don't forget your vitamin D. The least amount to help you is 4,000 a day. But try to get that blood level up over 50. And this is so important. When we return, I want to talk a little more about vitamin D. We'll be right back. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year. And Tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. Richard Becker for your health at a glance. Are you looking for a way to lower your risk of Alzheimer's? As the prevalence of obesity and metabolic syndrome continue to increase, researchers have found a possible link between type 2 diabetes and the onset of Alzheimer's disease. In fact, type 2 diabetics are at 200% higher risk of Alzheimer's compared to people without diabetes. These metabolic changes that develop with diabetes appears to greatly increase the speed of deterioration of the brain and other related systems. Lowering your blood glucose is easier than you may think. Eat smaller meals, exercise regularly, and reduce carbohydrates in your diet, especially simple sugars. Taking steps today to control your blood glucose may protect your entire body, including your brain. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. 
Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone. Just a quick reminder, it is holiday savings time at BioInnovations. Don't miss it. So, Richard, vitamin yes. D. Yes. Uh, give you an example. Breast cancer patients who have higher, good, strong vitamin D levels, 60% more likely to be alive in five years. And we could go on and on. All-cause mortality, all cancer mortality reduces with good high vitamin D levels. Don't miss out on that. Protect your heart. Again, we mentioned the stragglers, but CoQ10, L-carnitine, D-ribose, magnesium. The Heart Smart Kit applies to cancer therapy because uh, cancer's treatments reduce our ability to make CoQ10. If you don't have energy, you can't feel any metabolic process. It's just, it's just that simple. I wish I had more time, but we don't. Don't forget your CoQ10. The, all the different antioxidants, things like acai juice, goji juice, mangosteen juice, not only are they great antibiotics, natural antibiotics, they help to fuel the immune response. They help to correct DNA function. Insomnia is common in cancer therapy, melatonin. Cancer's treatments deplete our brain's melatonin levels, and I don't care how many sleeping pills you take, none of them do what melatonin does. Melatonin will help you sleep. Grape seed extract, resveratrol, unbelievable studies. These antioxidants, melatonin's an antioxidant too. Don't forget your curcumin. You know, a curcumin alone fights cancer by at least 20 different mechanisms. 20 different mechanisms. If you just add curcumin and vitamin D to your program, you're doing better. But round it out, do the whole program. Um, oil of oregano, powerful antioxidant and antibacterial, and olive leaf, same thing. You know, get the benefits of olive oil in the olive leaf supplement. That is tremendous. And we have a new addition, black seed oil anti-cancer benefits, antimicrobial, antioxidant, it goes on, pain relief, black seed oil is tremendous. Each one of these agents we're mentioning today, we do a whole program on, so you could learn more about the individual ones by focusing on those programs. Uh, a little flaxseed oil, per polyphenolic lignans, this is particularly helpful for the uh, sex hormone driven cancer such as prostate cancer, ovarian cancer, endometrial cancer, breast cancer. It helps to normalize hormone function. It acts as a little hormone blocking agent and it helps to minimize that drive of the hormone driven cancers. That's your flaxseed oil. Don't forget your ginger for nausea. Ginger for nausea, chemotherapy, radio, it can all cause profound nausea and ginger is very helpful for that. You know, it really does work. Um, pomegranate juice, it delays the doubling of PSAs in prostate cancer. Diendolmethane, this is extract of cabbage and cruciferous vegetables. Excellent for liver cancers, breast, colon, and prostate cancers. And don't forget iodine replacement for breast cancers. There are cases of breast cancer going away with just iodine replacement. It's not a common phenomenon, but it has happened and it's in the literature. And I've talked to doctors who have, have implemented that. Well, folks, cancer, those words, you have cancer, once you pick yourself up off the floor after being told that, develop a plan. It makes a difference. Think holistically. Little baby steps add up. It all makes a difference in improving your immune response. And that's the key 
to winning the battle with cancer. Thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. I used to watch professional wrestling as a youngster. One character, Mr. Perfect, always looked healthy and seemed to do everything right. Did you know perfectionistic tendencies may ruin your health? Negative stress triggers heart disease, IBS, and insomnia. So combat stress by meditating on things that are good, especially God's word. It's not crazy, just healthy. Next time on The Three, it's that time of year again when we discuss how you know you need to get healthy but don't know where to start. So I wrote a book called The Healthy Living Handbook so you could have that daily plan. I would like to dedicate this entire show today to changing the way